G'day YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to run a script, so a .sh file in Ubuntu. Now in order to do this, uh, what you need to do is know where your file is first, or your script is. Here's mine, my script.sh. And also, um, you have to then open up a terminal and type in this to uh, actually start the script. So there's actually three different ways to do it. I'll just show you each and every single one of them. So sh and then the name of the file and where it is actually as well, the directory path. So that's on my desktop and there it is. So sh space the directory and the file name. Hit enter and you'll see up here around the top here this is my this my script is executing and this is proof because my script is just a just a notify um, little script there now another way to do it is bash fill in all the same details again and hit enter there you go you can see the script there as well and last but not least and my favorite way is just writing in the uh, directory file path so let's go but uh, a, a keen distinction of a difference here when you do it this way is the dot forward slash my script and you will come up uh, for the need to do that when you're doing compiling and uh, creating scripts and doing things like that later on so it's just dot forward slash my script if you're in the folder then dot forward slash my script as well so dot sh so hit enter and there it is so that is how you can and choose your own way but that is how you uh, start up a script so I hope you've enjoyed. Oh, one last thing that I did not mention and perhaps the most important thing is you have to make the file executable. So you have to make this file here executable and in order to do that you have to type in sudo chmod which is change mode and u plus x which is user, u the user, uh, allow executable rights for and then the directory path. In this case it is There we go. Whoop. Whoopsie daisy. There we go. So sudo uh, for root privileges in order to change the mode. Change mode. U plus X. So this user yourself uh, make it executable for. And then the actual file and where it's located. And hit enter. And then throw in your password. And there you go. So that's how you do it guys. Um, create the script if it's already there then just make it executable and then use any one of these first three in order to actually uh, run the script so uh, cheers guys hope you've enjoyed